Y'all already know why y'all stumbled to this or even just clicked on this video. This is a trailer of NBA 2K25. It's supposed to be the park and the program and everything they're going to show us. And there's going to be two videos merged together because they're going to break it down for us. And y'all know this is going to be my last take, giving my opinion about this game. I'm not saying I never will play 2K, but this year... I'm just going to sit out, but that's not going to take away from me giving my respect about what they're going to give us in this trailer or what they're going to give us in this game. But this video is going to be long, so just chill, relax, and we finna go ahead and give our reaction and our opinion about this. But before we get into that, for anybody who ran into this video or this channel, hit that like, subscribe, and make sure y'all go to the TikTok if you need it. It's right there. I'll go to the link in the video on all my platforms. Y'all's welcome to that, but let's go ahead and see what they finna give us, y'all. City. Okay. They ain't really changed the red. I'm tired of it. Just looking at the red. But the courts look pretty different. Okay, they're bringing back some of the you know, parts from the old 2Ks. I like the music choice too. I That was pretty good. Now this is the other video. What's up everyone? Welcome energy. back to another NBA 2K25 courtside report. I'm Chris Manning. And I'm Alexis Morgan. And today we're joined by Eric Benish. VP of NBA Development at Visual Concepts, who's going to break down all things new and exciting in the city in 2K25. Eric, welcome. Chris, Alexis, thank you so much for having Thanks, me. The team has been working incredibly hard in the city this year. We have a lot of amazing stuff to talk about today. A lot of it has been all user feedback from our community, which is a big driver for us. And so I'm really excited to tell everyone how you can play anywhere and win everywhere in the city this year. We've heard that there are a lot of new things in the city. What can players look forward to when playing NBA? 2K25. So the city in NBA 2K25 is entirely brand new. And harking back to that comment about how user feedback drives everything for us, the city is significantly smaller, it's much more intimate, and it's designed to get you to your experiences quicker. And the entire city this year is designed with basketball in mind. So the main street, we're calling it the Boulevard of the Stars. The entire street has like an urban flair to it. There's a mural painting both sides you know. of the street, really bringing home that basketball feel. The light posts are green release them. animation light posts. They look incredible. One really cool aspect of the Boulevard I'm of the Stars walk is around. the Walk of Fame we have. It's kind of symbolic of Hollywood Boulevard. There's a basketball representing each NBA Finals winner in NBA history. And one really cool aspect of it is you can continue to add your own stars to this Walk of Fame uh, as you play through my career and win NBA titles. So you're kind of designing the city yourself as you go, which is really cool. Can you expand on Elite Lincoln. versus Rise this year <laughs> in NBA 2K25? In NBA 2K25, both affiliations are getting brand new parks. The court layouts are very tight, so it's really easy to hop from one court to the next. You don't have to worry about traversing environmental variables. It's just getting on the court and playing basketball. So the new Elite Affiliation Park what? is built into an old, worn down fort that used to be a bustling pirate scene a long, long time ago. The centerpiece of the entire affiliation is a beautiful pirate ship that you can actually play on top of and inside of. I think fans are gonna have a lot of fun exploring this new environment and competing in it. Rise fans are gonna absolutely love Seems their like affiliation park this year. It's built into a gigantic mech factory. And as you're playing in there, you can see these 75 Man, foot tall mech it. robots being built. They're in various phases of construction. Right, right. So New really York, neat experience. Miami and course. I think this people are realistic. really gonna feel well, like they're having be... a great time when they're playing in there. Tell us more about yeah. game modes in the city. So all of your favorite game modes in the city are back. I'm really feeling okay, right now the new wreck. I think it looks fantastic. The new anime looks look incredible. Good. But what but I really want to talk about today are the new game experiences we're bringing in the city in 2K25. 
just looking at it, just we might have hinted that about, the mic core is oh, back 2K's, in the 2K25, and I can confirm it's definitely back. Games. It has all the things you're familiar with and that you love and that you want from it. It has customization. It's a safe place to practice your game. You can invite your mic core teammates in to play with you. You can invite your actual friends in to play with you. And another item that it has, which is really cool, is you can kind of adjust the sliders and difficulty sets inside my court, custom for each mode in the city. So you can really practice how you're playing in each mode as you prepare to compete. I can't wait to get in there and work on my game, but I did notice you said the word compete, so expand on that. Compete and competition has kind of been a mantra for the team this year. I really feel, honestly, like it's an area we've kind of lacked in years past. So I really wanted a place to drive home competition in the city, and this year we're introducing a new game mode called Proving Grounds. It is the ultimate place for competition in the city this year. It's ranked play. There's four different modes you can play in. There's 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, 5v5. It's comp better, level sliders, shot meters are turned off. Me the top 100 like, players in each of the four really modes will have their global rank displayed right on their gamer uh, plate, their banner at the bottom of the screen. So you can really run around the city and flex how good you are in this particular mode. The leaderboards reset every season. We're giving out prizes for the top five in each game mode. They're really good prizes. You want to compete for them. And above all, this is just a place for people to go in and show off what their skills are. It's a really fun place to play, and anyone who participates in Proving Grounds this year will be earning the best rep in the city in 2K25. Streetball is something that really empowered us to spend a lot more time leveling it up this year and making it a lot better. You can do optional co-op play with your friends this year. There are three brand new, beautiful street courts for you to play in, and there are a whole new host of bosses for you to beat. Again, you can do it with your friends if you want, and you can play for amazing cosmetic rewards this year. They're really unique. Streetball in 2K25, I think, is going to be another big hit for us. So based on everything okay, you're saying, it sounds like there's a lot of new content for players now. to enjoy this year. There is, Chris. I'm not even done yet. Right. Last week we learned about they triple threat park and new experiences alive. right in the city. And it's something that I'm really, Shut really excited game. about for a long they time players of my career to really enjoy. This entire new park is the remaster of NBA 2K16's Rivet City Rooftop Court. We remastered it, recreated it. It uses next-gen tech, next-gen lighting. It looks amazing. It's a one-to-one -one homage of the original park. So if you're at all a fan of that, I strongly encourage you to get in here and try this experience out. Shout out to Rivet City fans. I have so many great memories playing on those parks. So is there any chance chance of seeing more nostalgia in NBA 2K25. In NBA 2K25, we're celebrating NBA 2K15. Tell me how y'all feeling about this point in the comments. We're bringing back excited? all four My you Park know, courts remastered honest, for yo. users to play. That includes Sun Drenched Sunset Park, the Industrial Rivet City, Go we backs. have the Old Town Flyers Park, and of course, that year we had the My Park Championship, Old Town That's 1, cool, and they babe. got an aircraft carrier. We're bringing that back as well. Like These I are all getting uh, HD remasters down to the very last detail, next-gen tech, next-gen lighting, just like we did with the Rivet City rooftop court. It's been a long time, but for many users, this will be for the first time. It's literally been over 10 years since people have played on these courts. We're going to be putting out one you know, per season for the first damn. four seasons. It's something Don't I didn't want to like put it. out as an event where there was leaderboards and people were sweating and trying to get to the top. Like, it's not really not the vibe I was going for with these. This is about reliving past memories with your friends, having a great time. You're going to earn 2x rep in this, that sweet 2xp. Look, I'm ready to go on these now. Can you at least tell the fans which remaster is coming in season one? During the back half of season one, we're gonna go back and we're gonna visit the Old Town Flyers Park. And while competition was you know, a major goal for the team this year, fun is ever at the top of our list. Another fun thing we added to the game this year is called the Squad Finder. It is a place for you, like the name says, to go find like-minded players who are trying to achieve the same goals you are. It's a great way for you to establish some new connections, build some chemistry with okay. new players to compete with. That's good. Another fun thing we added to the game really, this year is a brand new mode you know, called The Track. Helps the Track is an people. indoor karting warehouse where you can do a new race every single week, and the winner who has the best okay, time at the end really, of each week wins 1 million BC. Another thing we added to the game this year to really help out new users is called Casual Courts. Well, it's kind of like your safe zone to play as a new user. The only people that can step on these courts are other people who are new and inexperienced users to NBA 2K. These are a great way for new users just to learn the game. Accessibility was a major foundation of NBA 2K25, and that continues directly in the city. One thing we added to the game this year is a little informational kiosk. We actually call them hollow helps. And whenever you activate them, you get a video of our very own Chris Manning and Shakedown telling you about what this building is about, what the experience is inside, what kind of difficulty level it is, and basically just trying to find the right fit for you. Yeah, I think hollow help is a great addition to the series to help educate fans about all things new in the city. If I do say so myself, the acting's pretty top-notch too, Eric. Chris, you did a great job, not gonna lie. 
And that brings us to the end of this NBA 2K25 courtside report on The City. Yeah. Eric, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, Chris, so much for having me here today. I want to thank everyone in the community for all the ongoing How do support you've given about us for this? so many years. Please enjoy the Here's game. Cannot stuff, wait for you to get it on launch no. day. And with that, we'll see all of you in The City where you can play anywhere and win everywhere. All right, that is the end of that trailer. And I will give some a little bit of credit of 2K, what they just did. They have brought a lot of new things in this, but why did it take so long? I don't want to be so negative about this game. The only thing about it is just not the same for me. I've been playing this for year and year and year. As after 2K20, which is new content, man, it's just not been giving it to me. The competition of this game is just not for me, man. It just seems like it's for kids nowadays. But before we get into the pros, and con let's just go in and get the positive stuff that i did see in this trailer i did like how they show the proven ground that is for people who want the competition i heard there's no shot meters and everything and i think the difficulty is more higher than any else court that you're playing on so that is good that's more like for competition so that might be filling the gap to what i was just saying about being really skilled at this game i just feel like they've been lacking in that for a lot of years now but just as seeing some of the old throwback court from the 2k i know y'all been well in this and it is a place i would give that to them actually throwing this in this game because a lot of people love that time but i'm more like a 2k 11 2k 10 or 2k 9 those was one of my best years i was playing so consistent and 2k 18 to 20 those was my bestest times I played on 2K. Just as seeing the squad founder, I've been saying they need to been having this, but at least they give you an option, like they said, like the goals or whatever you're trying to build or whatever you're looking for as a team. So when you need somebody to run with, hopefully this should help you. But knowing how the 2K community is, to be honest with you, it's very toxic. So if I get luck, hopefully you can find some people to run with because you definitely need to run with people on this game. You cannot run with randoms or you're going to be taking L's after backs after you want to punch me right now you want to punch me right now but you won't you want to punch me too, Brennan? You guys both look like you might want to hit me in the face. And they have said that the city has shrunk a little bit more, so that's pretty good. But just looking at it, it still looks the same to me. I just think they just need to just take it out. And I'm about to get into all the stuff that I've seen for the last few days of this dribble moves and just the gameplay alone. The emotion of how everything looks, they have really did good as even step back shots, creating space to get that shot open. They've been doing really really good with that i give that but you can tell people's going to be cheesing like no ever and they said they bought speed booth back so for y'all speed booth who love that y'all have that this year the only thing i do see is really good with this that it gives you more options to create your open shot or just to get around a basket but i just kind of miss the simulation not making this game so realistic because something about it i think that's what it is because every decision you make is not giving the reward if if you do do a right move or the defense and you blocking somebody off and I will show this part right here Finally. Mm. So I don't know if that was supposed to be a hint. They saying like, oh, the defense is back. But why is it taking that long for 2K25? Acting like y'all did not been fixed those from the last past 2Ks. I don't know if it's just this new gen and they just have to build this stuff right back up. But I'm just throwing it out there. It's really nothing new. This should have been in the game. And just like I seen this yesterday, I'll just show y'all right here. Here, this is the stuff I'm talking about. That's a carry and that shouldn't even be in the game. But hey. At least we get to get creative with the way we score this year. That is sick. So I don't know what's up with all that. It looked like he clearly traveled or had a double dribble, you know what I'm saying? But it didn't look good at all. I hope that's not something that's going to be going on very a lot in this game. And I've seen some gameplay. I'm not trying to judge. This is just a demo. There was a lot of people just grinning like it was no other. So hopefully the jump shots is a little bit more fixed, but I hope it's just not too easy. You know what I'm saying? Like That's why I say about the competition of this game. They should go off like literally understanding the form of a jump shot. And my last thing to speak is about the wreck. They need to change the brand of that. I don't know what it is. I'm tired of even seeing it every time I run in there switch it up makes me think like 
I gotta go in here with randoms. Or I don't have a squad to run with. So you know how these people on this game, man, they just be doing crazy stuff. And that's a whole nother topic. But I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I am still sitting out for this 2K, y'all. I'm not gonna play this year. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna have to just try next year a 2K26. Because to me, going back to back from these 2Ks, man, it's just like I need a break from this. Like every time I buy it and put all my money in these VC, it just makes me like, what am I doing? I don't even drop too much content. I almost feel like I'm forcing the plan is I have a love and hate relationship with this game, but I'm gonna have to sit out. And the main reason why I got the last 2Ks and y'all wanna check out some of my game footage from my Kobe or even for my Michael Jordan challenges, that was the only reason why I really bought the game, to be honest. I just wanted to have some footage on my channel, me actually playing that because they brought it back and they actually gave Kobe. And I thought they was gonna keep going on. Hopefully we was gonna get like an AR or somebody else. They did add a mode that you can go play with old throwback teams, but I just want to see them actually switch it up as giving other players day credit, man. Just having their own story, just like with the legends of Kobe and Michael Jordan. Hopefully, we will see LeBron. I think they would do that like after his career is over with, but that was my last hold on for this game to actually get, and I know we're not getting that this year. How do y'all feel about it? Are y'all still going to get this game? Are y'all still excited? Are you even proud of some of the stuff that they brought? Do you think there is things they had to prove on this game? Just put it in the comments. You know our feedback to everyone. For the 2K community who made content of this game, it seemed like they gave y'all enough to do. I give y'all that. I'm finna go ahead and sign out this thing. Make sure for anybody who ran to this video or this channel, hit the like, subscribe. You know it help out a lot. I very appreciate it. As anybody's been subscribed, make sure y'all hit that like and share this video. And if you need it, the TikTok is right there. I'll go to the link at the bottom of the video with all my platforms as my Twitter. Y'all want to follow that? Y'all always welcome to it. But I will catch y'all in the next reaction.